Hello everyone, just uh, making a, a quick video to begin with of the studio that I'm going to be using to do my next painting. It's going to be a Bob Ross uh, style. Uh, I know you guys saw this already, but I'm just going to have my little laptop here so I can, uh, my big laptop I should say. I'm going to put an uh, image up here so I can follow along. And we have this all set up. This is how I set it up. In case you, you didn't see it before, I got my brushes down here. And my beater box that I made. Inside here there's a stick and I can wrap the brush around there. And that's about it. Anyway, we're just gonna get started. I have uh let's see. I'm gonna be using all these paints mostly. And I'm just gonna spread them out on this blank palette for now. Or I might put them on this. Depends how I feel. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in a little bit. Sorry about the moving of the uh, canvas. I mean the uh, camera. <laughs> I'm just putting on the uh, liquid white. Give me, I'm just scrubbing it in right now. Okay, let's just go in here. I'm gonna put some mountains and some water, or maybe a spring, babbling brook or something. So I just wanna apply this kind of even enough. This is an 18 by 24 big canvas, so that's why I had a, I'm, I'm up in the second floor studio doing this because I don't have enough room downstairs so all right that's that let me pause this okay I'm going into some red oh red it'll be really bright at first And it's going to mix with the liquid white that's on the canvas. Just want to kind of push it in there. And I'll put a little down here. Just a little. Just the shadow areas and stuff. Just a little bit as well. Start at the top and work your way down because it gets lighter and lighter as you do. We'll blend this with a dry brush. We'll come back with it later. So we can get the streaks out.
some water in here, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna put it straight across kinda. Now we're playing Titanium White for the clouds. Using small circular motions you can get the clouds fluffy as you want. Yeah. 
good. That away. Okay, let's get the big knife. We mix up some um, Prussian blue, some lizard crimson, black. Mix it all together. Maybe some Van Dyke brown, some dark sienna. Make a big dark color here. Put them on the knife. I'm going to start over here like this. I don't care about the outer edge. I just want to get all this color out of it. Should have put that for us, but it's all right. That's all. Something like that. just the distance okay this one here we're gonna let's take some more of that off first Now, using a very light touch, just let the paint fall off the knife. Let the canvas take what it wants. Hold it up again.
All right, now. Get that lighter color. Put some white and blue. I'm mixing up some blue with the white to get a mid-range color for the shadow. Gotta get into that little crack a little bit. Brush, one inch brush. Okay. And get it apply the mist. Taking care not to, I mean, to keep the same flow of the uh, the land and keep the land. The lay of the land the correct way, the correct direction. So we want to come out this way on this one. And then brush upward lightly, very lightly, to get that misty effect on the base of the mountain. Taking care not to push up on the brush, but to just patter it down to give it that separated effect. Oops. 
Now I'm coming back with some darker green color since it's in another layer in front of the last foothill. Yeah, I got to the, I'm gonna knife in some liquid white. I'm gonna cover this side. I want some over here. I'm just winging, I'm just winging this, so <laughs> not sure what's gonna happen. But all right, now we're gonna put a little plane right here. I just want kind of like something outside. This is a yeah, rubbish. Okay, I'm gonna go into 
Let me see, I need some white to go with that. So, In case you guys are wondering, that's me loading the brush in the background. <laughs> I'm now loading the brush with some yellow ochre, yellow, cad yellow, some green, and some red. Mixing it here and there to give it different effects. I'm now creating the uh, reflection in the water by pulling straight down and then going straight across. Put, put a nice, I'm gonna put a nice, um, what do you call uh, pine tree? <clears throat> I'm gonna put a pine tree on that side. I have a lot of washing to do, so I'm gonna pause it. I decided to pu uh, put some rocks in, and I apologize that the uh, lighting is pretty bad, so you can't really see it as well.
Put some, uh, some spabbling brook over here. Spabbling little brook. Thank. <laughs> I think a couple of pines over here, so I gotta figure it out. I'm using straight Van Dyke Brown on the knife to create the tree trunks. I just got the big one. I'm gonna get the, uh, the what do you call the um, strip line brush.
Okay, I'm gonna do some, some more twigs and stuff in here. I get this in color and brush. Let's do that. I'm gonna do this. Branches I gotta put in here. Hello. Alright, that's good. 
This is going to pop this day. Wait a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm using the same dot color as I use for the tree trunks for the back sides of the leaves. I am now loading the brush with some reds and yellows and oranges to, for the foliage. Again, dabbing the brush with using the corner of the brush only.
Now for the tree on the left side, I am applying the same type of miscellaneous colors, mixing it from reds and yellows and oranges. There we go. Show you how I clean some brushes. Dip it in the paint thinner. Over here. And beat it up. <laughs> beat the devil out of it. Like Bob Ross would say, beat the devil out of it. Hope you had a good time. You learned something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do with the, the setup I have. So sorry about that. I apologize. So take care.